everyone! Eternia here, and today, guys, we're going to be doing the Gauntlet Challenge Quests. So, I believe that this is going to be like the previous one we had, where as long as you complete all of the objectives, you should be able to complete the event board. So, let's go ahead and dive in and do these quests. At the very least, it's nice to actually be able to have something to make a video over. Um, the game has been a little bit dry in terms of content recently, so that's why unfortunately there hasn't been another new video from me. I was pretty much waiting for another event to come. And thankfully, we finally have another event. Which I th think my only complaint right now is that we just don't have enough content in the game at the moment. I mean, I'd even welcome a high score challenge something. I mean, sure, we've got this gauntlet challenge now. But we really, really need more content in the game. My hope is that this week we get some more content later on, but I guess only time will tell. And this is probably going to follow the usual format where there's beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then legendary. And it seems like it's only going to be the target enemy in terms of these stages, which means that this shouldn't take too long to get through. Of course, I'm sure once it gets to the legendary stages, it's probably going to be a lot more difficult than this. After all, we are only on beginner at the moment. But hopefully they didn't make it so difficult that you can't get through the stages. Okay, it seems to be going up 25 levels per round. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. And honestly, so far, I can pretty much just take them out with my, uh, Illustrated Bell and Beast. And for now I'm just sticking with my Divine Rose, which I kind of just use as my multi-purpose Keyblade. I kind of use Sleeping Lion as that too, just because I have metals that work against all enemy types. But most of the time I go with Divine Rose for simpler enemies. Um, I guess let's go back to that. Okay, so so far it's still easy, and so far it's still just going up by 25 levels. Honestly, so far I'm not seeing too much of a challenge. But like I said, we're still in the very early rounds of this. Okay, next up we have a level wobble, which should be able to be easily taken care of. Okay, I think... Did it go up by 20 this time instead of 25? Yeah, it looks like it went up 20 levels instead of 25 now. So I wonder if it's going to cut back by 5 levels each um, stage of the challenge.
Okay, yeah, it is going up by 20 this time. So advance is probably going to go up by 15 if it continues the pattern. So Elisa looks like they're not trying to make this too hard, but we will see. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip past all this stuff and just use Kyrie there. Just because I don't want to waste too much special if it's not necessary. Right. So now we should be moving on to the advance rounds. Yes, now we're on the advance rounds. So let's go ahead and switch back to a magic metal here. Okay, so. I think that these are getting strong enough where I'm just going to go ahead and start using my Nova. I know that I could still get by with um, using Kyrie, but it's just faster for me to use my Nova there. Okay, was my theory right? No, it's still going up by 20, so... Okay, I guess just the first set of rounds went up by 25, and I guess the rest of them are going up by 20? Um, let's go with... Sure, that works. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing here, just use Illustrated, Bell, and Beast, and then use my Nova. And so far, you should be able to still easily take these out as long as you have an attack boosting metal, such as Illustrated, Bell, and Beast, Pooh, Piglet, and a strong AoE metal. You should be perfectly fine still with doing these rounds. So far, they haven't thrown anything too difficult onto this yet. Okay, a white rose. So let's go with a speed AoE metal. Okay, once again, same pattern, illustrated Bell and Beast. And Nova. So I think that that was the third round, right? Which means that we should be getting to the legendary stages. All right, awesome. Okay, and there's actually six rounds in the Legendary Challenge, and, ooh, okay, so we're up to level 220 now, I wasn't even paying attention to the levels. So the enemies are probably definitely going to be harder from this point forward. Okay, that still isn't too bad. Honestly, as long as you have a strong single target metal, such as Zigbar B. Actually, Zigbar B would be perfect here with Vine Rose, and you should be able to take this out just fine. Which, actually, I should just use my Nova here. But yeah, just um, boost yourself and use Zigbar B, and you should be able to very easily take out that enemy. Although I am a little bit concerned that we still have five more rounds, 
So, let's look at what's next. A cannon gun. Okay. So these cannon guns usually have defense boosts. So if you have something that can get rid of that defense boost, it'll definitely help you here. Now, I'm not for sure that this one will, but typically they have a defense boost. Okay, and it does indeed have a defense boost. So it would be really good to bring in something that could get rid of that, such as um, Alice. So that would be fairly useful here. And this guy has quite a bit of health, but you should still be able to get away, get away with using Zigbar B here. But as long as you have a strong single target metal, actually Lexius B, he would work really well here too. Because I'm sure that there's some people who may be newer and they might not have Zigbar B, so Lexius B would definitely work well there too. Okay, Wayward Wardrobe. And hopefully this is another single target enemy. If that's the case, it should be still okay as long as you have something like Zaldin B or Zigbar B. Okay, yeah. So here, you wouldn't even need to worry about getting rid of that defense boost that it has because it's only a magic defense boost. So something like Zaldan B, Zigbar B, should be able to easily take care of it as long as you have an attack boost. Honestly, at this point, I'd start recommend bringing in a metal that can lower a target as well. Just because the enemies are getting stronger, and the higher the level, the stronger the defense is going to be. Okay, round four. Ooh, okay, the copter fleets are always a pain to deal with. In this case, I'm actually going to switch to my Moogle O Glory here. Um. Let's bring in maybe Jack and Sally. Actually, I think I'm going to bring in this random person's Ursula. Okay, so let's go ahead and yeah. So at this point, you're definitely going to need something to lower the enemy's defense and raise your attack. Because otherwise this is going to be pretty difficult to get through. Alright, so that has been taken care of. And after I finish these, I will go ahead and go through the event board and unlock everything on the event board just so you guys can see what all is there. Okay, so the last one's probably going to be a uh, magic type copter fleet. So in this case, what do I want to use here? I think I'll probably just go with my Olympia. And I will bring in Illustrated Cloud. And at least with this one, um, as long as you have Lexius B and you have something that can get rid of... Um, well, actually, no, you don't need to get rid of its defense boost because it's not... It doesn't have power defense. But as long as you have something that can raise your attack and lower its defense... You should be able to take this out with Lexius B just fine. Alright, so that has been taken care of. So now all we should have left, which this is just my guess that it's going to be a magic type 
copter fleet. Since we had power and then speed, the last one's probably going to be a magic type copter fleet. And of course, I was right. So, um, I'm just going to bring in Sleeping Lion. I'm going to go with my single target setup. And let's see here. I might go in with the Salden B. Yeah, I'm going to go in with the Salden B. Okay, this one has the most HP yet, so it's definitely going to be the most difficult to deal with. Couple more boosts from Kyrie, And I think my rocks, well, if the attack boost would have went off, it would have been enough. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Nova to finish it off, just because I don't want to waste too much special. Alright, the quest is completed. And this should give us enough to complete all the boards. Oh, wait, there's another quest. Huh. Show them who's boss. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, if it's following the same pattern, that's just going to be the Giga Shadow by itself. Um. I'm probably going to go with maybe this World of Chaos, actually. Because I'm not really sure what to expect, and I might need an AoE medal. So, let's just go in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't expecting that. This one, ooh. This one's going to be really hard. Because I'm trying to think of a metal that you guys could use in this scenario that isn't a premium. I'm actually glad I did bring in World of Chaos now. Um, yeah. Okay, so my Nova took those two out. I can probably use Ursula there, and then I can use World of Chaos on that last one. But you're going to need something really, really strong AoE-wise to deal with those Giga Shadows. Ash actually, Melissa Maleficent B. She's a strong AoE metal, isn't she? You might be able to use her here. As long as you have the proper buffs. And I'm just going to check, because I don't remember if she was AoE or not. Oh, hey, it's someone on the dark side. Okay, so, back to events here. Okay, that was the last stage. Um, I'm just going to check real quick. Okay, yes. Maleficent B is an AoE metal, so as long as you use her, I think you would be fine in that scenario. As long as you have the proper buffs and debuffs, anyway. So, let's go ahead and unlock all the stuff on this event board. Which, yay, we get some jewels. Actually, quite a lot of jewels. <laughs> wow. Okay. So this is awesome.
So literally all these except for the last four are jewels. And of course we get a chip, a dale, a magic mirror, and a speed gem. And the very last thing that gets unlocked is a Sid medal. And literally it took all the event coins, so you do have to complete all of the objectives. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and take care! Bye!